to you, so you. I'm Zoe, and this is a video about knitting and sewing and any other craft I can get my head around. Um, I've been knitting since I was like five, um, and sewing around about the same time. Um, learning to crochet was a little bit more recent, um, and I've recently started learning to spin. That's this year's project. Um, I use a drop spindle like for a wheel, like a tiny, tiny thing. There wouldn't be space for it. Um, so, what are you going to find in this video? Well. I'm going to talk about things that I make and things I've got planned to make um, and take you on this adventure as I develop my skills even further. Um, I've got some big projects planned over the next few years. I'm aiming to transition to a predominantly me made wardrobe, both knitting and sewing. Um, so that's uh, ongoing. I've got lots of my plans for my first uh, build capsule, really, um, which I'll be putting together over the next few weeks, um, sewing wise, um, or a few months, really. Um, and I'm aiming to have that go alongside my hand knitted items. Um, so at the end of every month, I'll do a roundup of, of what I've achieved that month. Um, and in the meantime, as I get through projects, particularly with the sewing, I will um, put little update videos throughout the month um, so you can see how I get on. So, first of all, let's start with what I'm wearing. This is a relatively recent finished hand knitted item. Um, it's a, a cardigan, but it's actually from a jumper pattern. It's my first time sticking, so I'm quite impressed with it. There are obviously a few issues with it. It's not perfect, but then I've not done it before, so why would it be? Uh, this is the Vinterfjell um, yoke from Skein Day Knits, and I modified it to put some colour work on the cuffs. Um, I decorated that on the hem, and obviously I've steeped it to turn it into a cardigan. Um, it's out of Holst Garn super soft which is lovely fingering weight um yarn um it, what i really like about it is not just that it changes completely when you block it but actually it's it's very heathered um so it's, it looks like a solid color from far but when you look close up it's got lots of other colors in it and it actually echoes the colors that i picked for the yoke so i'm really pleased with how that's turned out not used that um more before one of the most impressive things about it was I ordered it from Denmark and it arrived as quickly as if I bought it within the UK. So yay for Holscon. Um other things I finished relatively recently. Um I do like a good mystery knit. Um so I've done a couple of shawl mystery knits um over the course of the summer. Um, so the first one I'm gonna show you. This was um the bits of it. This is called Addition by Subtraction. Uh, it's by Tri Stitchel. Um, it was their first um, release. And the good thing about this mystery knit, um, obviously it's done in sections, so you get clue one, clue two, clue three, and clue four. Not only did I get to develop lots of new skills, um, like this beautiful mystery lace. Um, in clue four and the slip stitch mosaic style knitting um, and I've never actually deliberately dropped stitches before either so that was uh, a really good skill um, but the mystery knit itself the clues all came with a murder mystery story so it wasn't just a mystery knit it was a mystery read at the same time uh, which was fantastic um, and this yarn is again fingering weight and it's from Biff Sugar uh, on Etsy Right, my next uh, mystery knit shawl I'm going to show you today is, and is older, um, it's recently finished, um, just the past few weeks, um, Gloaming Tide, so I'll show you that there, it's yet to be blocked and then to have the end snipped off, they've been woven in but they're not snipped yet, and um, so this one you work one end and the other end, and then joined it in the middle with this eyelet square um, and the yarn for this is um, rocking yarns so actually most of these are reputable colourways it's a three colour shawl so use um, morning coffee and fossil beach which I believe are reputable colourways for rocking yarns um, but this uh, red orangey one which is an important colour for me in the next few months uh, this is actually a one of a kind um, skein that I managed to get from, from her through her Etsy store. I think it's come out pretty well. Um, 
this year I've had a bit of a focus on um, sock knitting. I am attempting the box of socks cow. I'm not doing very well. It is now the end of August and this is my third pair of socks to qualify. Um, I'm meant to make 12 over the course of the year so I don't think I'm going to completely manage that. And um, These are the Rest Feather socks, uh, part of Knitting Expats um, sock club. I have done a little bit of modification. I've put some ribbing around the back of the leg. Um, I did have tried a circular toe rather than a wedge toe. And I've also attempted putting reverse stocking stitch on the sole of the foot. Um, just to see what that's like to wear as opposed to having it with the pearl box on the inside next to, to the skin. So we'll see how that goes. Um, moving on to what I'm working on at the moment. Um, I pretty much always have a sock project on the go, but at the moment they are just little tiny does, so not really much to show. Um, I've got the very, very beginnings of a crochet shawl that's uh, from a pattern that my local yarn shop actually um, produced. That's a spotted sheep in Leighton Buzzard. Um, but again, there's not much to show of that, so I will wait till that a bit further on. Um, my main knitting at the moment is actually on another knitting expat design, um, which is this. It's the changes shawl. I'm uh, early on in section D. Um, this is D1. I haven't got as far as doing the other end yet. Um, so this one is another interesting construction. Um, so I've got my Gamer Crafty yarn in the middle here. This is uh, Pixelated Unicorn. And then I've got all my minis coming in. Most of these are from Shepherd's Hut on Etsy. Um, but one of them actually is from Gamer Crafting as well. Um, there's section A, section B, section C. Beginnings of section D. And I may need to do B, C and D again on the other side. So it's going to be quite a sizeable wrap type shawl. It's like a rectangle with triangular ends rather than a, a full triangle or full rectangle. Um, so that's currently on the needles. Um, in terms of future plans, I have um, a temperature blanket that I'm already working on um, that's obviously not going to be finished at the end of the year. I started that New Year's Day. Um, I'm doing a row of crochet for every day of the year for the um, high temperature for the day. I am behind on that. It's been hibernating over the summer because it was just too hot. Now that the world's cooled down a bit, I'm hoping to get cracking and catch up on that. Um, and in terms of crochet, I'm also working on Sophie's Universe, um, but that's huge. So again, it's been hibernating through the hot summer. Um, and I'll wait until I'm working on it again before I share that with you. Um, oh, I do have another finished object to show you actually whilst I think of it. Um, this is another Et Knitting Expat. I do like her designs. Um, a little easy to follow. This is the Cumulus hat, which I actually did as a test fit for her. So I should move back a little bit to my sizable head gets in the frame. Um, I knitted this out of West Yorkshire Spinners um, Wentydale. Um, the green was actually a lot brighter um, before I knitted up but what I did was I held it with a mohair, um, I forget the brand I used for that but it's all on my Ravelry and um, so by all means check it out. Um, now this was in the large size because I've got a big um, there is a cow pattern now on Ravelry that goes with this, um, which I will probably knit up at some point. Um, uh, to get back to things I'm working on, uh, what I'm developing, um, sewing plans. As I said at the beginning, I am aiming to um, transition into a me-made wardrobe, or at least predominantly me-made. I'll probably buy a few things here and there, but um, largely me-made stuff. So I've done a little bit of fabric shopping to get ready for that. So over the next couple of months, I can start to build up the number of me made items that are in my wardrobe. So I do have a few things I've made myself. Uh, I've got a beautiful blue spotted um, chambray dress that I made for my cousin's wedding and that kind of thing. Um, but I want to add more sort of everyday stuff in there um, beyond the odd pencil skirt that I've got. Um, one thing I want to add in is actually a um, accessory. I want to be able to do a handbag at some point. So in my local fabric shop, again, Leighton Buzzard, um, I found myself some fake leather in this gorgeous blue. Uh, most of my sewing for the next few months is going to be in browns, greys, blues, uh, burnt orangey type colours, with a bit of yellow mustard and maybe a bit of chartreuse thrown in. I'm very tempted to put a bit of a bright pop in there. 
Um, do you remember I saying that one of the kinds of game was going to be in Fortune Colour for me? Have some fabric in a very similar colour. Um, this is part of an order I made from Pound Fabrics, so it's a pound a metre. Um, you have to buy a minimum of three metres of each fabric. Um, but still, I mean, three pound for three metres is not to be sniffed at. Um, so this is a Georgette, and they call it the Autumn Georgette. Gorgeous burnt red, almost orange kind of autumn colour, which is lovely. And um, being in Georgette, it is quite sheer. I might hold it up. It's only sort of semi sheer. It's not too bad. Um, but I will need to wear vest underneath it. Um, so there's that. And continuing the semi sheer theme, and um, moving more into the yellows. Um, I also picked up from pound fabrics some yellow shades floral polyester uh, if you look really closely you can actually see the weave is kind of squared in this one some nice textural detail and it's a subtle yellow it's not in your face it's not highlighter yellow it's going to blend in quite nicely with browns and greys and blues and those kind of things um, continuing the theme from Pound Fabrics, I've picked up some mini tulip print chiffon, the latte colour. Um, so it is a bit more yellow than it's coming across on the screen, um, but it's a more sort of a, a beige brown yellow. It's not a again a bright yellow. It's not even mustard. Um, but again, it's very sheer, uh, being a chiffon. So we're going to be layering this autumn. But I layer anyway, I cycle to work, um, so layering is great. Um, working with kids in schools, I'm always running around and getting warm anyway. Um, oh, didn't mention that, I'm a teacher. Um, the final piece of fabric that I got from Pound Fabrics is another chiffon. Um, it's a blue mottled chiffon. Um, so I've got some lovely floaty shirts to layer over things and stick my knitwear on top of. Um, they're all going to be quite nice against my skin tone, which is good. I do have enough for dresses, um, but they're probably a bit sheer for me for dresses. Um, now, Tuesday last week, um, Sherwoods were doing a 20% off um, offer for the day, which is great. They were doing another one the other day um, for the end of their summer stock. They must be getting ready to get the awesome stuff in, so I'll be keeping an eye on Sherwoods for it in a while. Um, so I've picked up for, for my capture wardrobe, I want to make... Two or three pairs of trousers, different leg widths, and two or three dresses and two or three tops as a minimum, just to give me some base items that I can mix and match with with everything um, throughout the year, not just in the autumn. So I'm going to make some trousers in this lovely chocolate brown. They've got it chestnut brown. I'd say it's more like dark chocolate, which is fine because I like dark chocolate. It's a needle cord, uh, so it's be great for some hard wearing practical trousers it's not too heavy so i'll be able to wear it in the less cold parts of the year like the autumn and spring um but with a nice woolly jumper on top it's gonna be great for the winter too and i've just got three meters of that my go-to length for, for fabric is all three meters um so that's the sewing plans and throughout the month i will be checking back in giving updates of the progress of my wardrobe as i'm sewing it because um if I leave it to the end of the month, everything's going to be done. It's not going to be any works in progress. You're not going to see the process I'm going through. Um, so I will keep you up to date with the process that I go through for, for the wardrobe. Um, and at the end of the month, I'll show you everything I've achieved. I'll probably leave most of the knitting stuff for the, that monthly update because knitting is so much slower than um, sewing. Um, so you see works in progress and things developing on a month-by-month -month basis there. Um, so end of next month, we can look forward to seeing a gorgeous, cute, cuddly, elephant in a pink dress that I'm making for a pregnant colleague, haven't cast that on yet. Hopefully my next pair of socks will be finished and next pair of needles, maybe I'll get two done, you never know. But term does start in a week, so this is going to limit my making time. Um, I have another expat knitter um, pattern ready to go, I'm going to be using the Parisian Dreams jumper. Um, so yeah, there's lots and lots coming up, so um, each month uh, around the end of the month I'll do that monthly roundup, you see everything I've made and then I'll drop in and out on the channel in the meantime just to keep you up to date um, with anything else that I come across or pick up or I tend to dive straight into these things, I don't do one thing at a time. Um, so if you want to keep up to date, 
the button wherever it is down there you have the red one yeah you know what i mean you're all seasoned youtube veterans you find it if you want it um and you can also find me on instagram at zosie mosey and ravelry as zosie m um so by all means subscribe like pop over onto the other social media channels to find me and remember as a maker you so you